Not an essential part of Zeta, but once you've got your head around multi-track's quirks and clunkiness, it's actually a great solution for everything from quick interview editing to more complex sound design, including comedy skits. Just pull audio in from any of the other modules, or you can actually record straight into multi-track with that big red button there. The first thing you'll want to do is show the gain level marker, which makes it really easy to get all the assets playing at the same volume. <laughs> When you highlight and delete a portion, it'll slip edit and move everything in that channel across to the left. Helpful sometimes, horribly annoying others. Control delete will keep the WAV block to the right of the edit as is. And right clicking on the audio is gonna bring up all the usual editing options. You can't actually play audio from multi-track straight to on air. You need to save it and play it from another module like Stacks, Z Player or Hotkeys. If the only editing you've done is tightening up an interview or fixing a live read, AB editing, just highlight the region and drag it into another module. I love big butts. Don't worry about the gaps on either side of the edits. Zeta is pretty decent at trimming the silence, but can be easily modified later within the metadata module if it's too tight. If you've gotten fancy with gain level adjusts, fade ins and fade outs and volume points and muted tracks, you'll need to use save as from the menu if you want it to sound exactly like how you created it. From here, you just name your asset, where it's going to live in your library, and for how long. You can even save the whole multi-track project for someone else, even in another market, to continue working on. 